not understand. What I find a little bit more atrocious is the fact that a few companies uh, which uh, recently were suspended uh, from um, playing any role in the, in the industry because they were uh, providing, uh, they were producing substandard uh, uh, quality of cement, uh, have uh, have also decided to to increase their prices. I mean, they are increasing their prices for the substandard that they are uh, they were producing, or they are now increasing their prices as a price that we have to pay for them to produce quality. Uh, uh, products in the country. I've Hello guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Yawa Simpi Sechere and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Now remember, Aceda House Commodities is a mixed trading entity. We have taken our time over the past um, years to study the maize market and the maize trading trains in Ghana. As you have any any inquiries about maize trading, we are the best people to speak with. Pick up Anames and let's talk. In today's video, I don't know whether to call it a rant, a band and rant. I don't know whether to call it a conversation on an issue of national discourse, you know, by a business person. All right, because this has to do with business, it has to do with industry. I mean, trade and industry. And since I am a trader, and I am also a producer of quality maize. And the producer in the agribusiness sector, I think it is only natural that I get affected or I, I, I get to talk about this because it falls in my domain. I'm a trader. It falls in my domain to talk about. All right. Now, we all know that the cement price in Ghana has gone up. There's been increase in the price of cement. Right, if you don't know now, you know. Now, um, my issue right now is not with the cement producers, all right, because they, they might have their reasons for increasing it, okay. And I believe that there is an industry that is supposed to regulate all these things. That's nice. Now, today I watched a video, a news report by Joy. Joy News, all right, in which the, mini, the Minister for Trade and Industry in Ghana, Honorable Katie Hamo, was commenting about, on this, um, this topic of um, increasing um, cement prices. Now, he said a lot, which I'll put up in this video for you to see. You have seen some already, and you are going to see the whole video, the whole, the whole interview that captures this part. Now, my concern is during the time that he was commenting about you know um, the cement producing factories or the cement producing companies that were shut down some months ago because of their substandard productions now honorable katie amon was asking why these companies are increasing their prices now he was asking whether they are increasing the prices of the substandard cements that they were producing or they are increasing their prices just so that they'll be able to produce quality cement for for Ghanaians now my question is that honorable Katie Amo A very instrumental person in, 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 in our parliament, right? Um, without due respect, Honorable, I believe that uh, this, these, com these um, companies were shut down because of because they were producing substandard uh, substandard cement or product into the um, into the market. Now, if I listen to these questions that you have raised. I'm beginning to understand that these companies are still in existence and they are still producing. Now, why are they still producing? I mean, my humble question, why are they still producing? If they are, if they were shut down because they were producing substandard cement, why are they still producing? Okay. 
If I don't understand, right? I don't understand. If anybody understand, please explain for us all to you know to get it in the comment section. But from where I'm coming from, I'm beginning to feel like these companies are still producing, and if they, and if they are still producing, it is putting everybody at risk because. We have had instances where buildings will collapse because of substandard, because of a lot of reasons. And one of the reasons that you can attach to it is because of substandard materials of construction. All right. Now, I believe strongly, I might be wrong. Uh, maybe I don't know, I don't have all the information, but I believe that the minister who is the head, supposed head, of the Ministry of Trade and Industry should be informed if companies, cement production companies that were shut down are back to production. And now, if they are back to production, then it means that the staff standard products that they were producing, they have stopped, they have upped their game, and now they are producing standardized products or standardized cement for which I believe that the ministers should know and if that is the case then maybe he shouldn't have you know asked questions like are they producing are they increasing prices on the substandard products because if the, the, the if they if they were shut down because of substandard sub, sub standardization then by now their, their product shouldn't be on the market. And if they have not up their game and reviewed their operation, you know, their operations, then they shouldn't be here as we are talking. But this, you know, this um what Honorable Katie Amon said, to my understanding, is that these companies are still and these products are still in the market, putting Ghanaians at risk. Putting the users of this of cement at risk. All right. So please, honourable, my humble request is that please come again. I'm not a politician, please. I don't intend to be a politician. I'm just a concerned citizen. I'm just a business person. All right. I buy cement. I use cement in the product in 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 the in construction of my you know infrastructure. I use cement just like any other Ghanaian. And my concern is that are these products still in the market? If they are in the market, why are they still in the market? If they are not in the market, why is there a comment of an increase in um, in the prices of their substandard goods? Honorable, please, with all due respect, please, and please again. Maybe get some understanding. All right. Because from where I'm sitting, I'm not getting this so clearly, to be very honest. All right. So if anybody understands something or, you know, understand this, um, this interview better than we do, then please let us all know. We are all here to learn. All right. Okay. So this just came up and I... Uh, and it's it okay to me that I should just, you know, comment comment on it. All right. So um, this is all I have to say. In summary, honorable, my understanding of your interview is that the products are still in the system. And if they are still in the system, why should they still be in the system? Because if they are not in the system, or they are in the system after they have been reviewed and you know changed their production line and upgraded their lines of production and the quality of their, their goods then there shouldn't be a comment about i mean to my understanding there shouldn't be a comment about why um the there is an increase in their prices or in the price of their substandard goods all right, my name is Yawa Simpi Sechri and, and as always, this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Asida House Commodities, the base trading entity, the number one base trading entity in Ghana. All right, until we meet in the next one, my humble appeal, it's just a humble appeal, honorable, I'm not a politician, please, this is something that, <laughs> you know, something I just want to comment on.
because it's, it's, it's very present. It's very present. You know, you go and buy products, cement products, and then you go and put up your buildings, and then only to later, later hear that these products were even substandard. What do you do, honorable? What do you do? I mean, anybody who, or any concerned person in this industry of cement production and building material production, okay? If I go to the market, if I go to the market, I go to the market to buy building materials because I trust that, you know, the standard of the standard, standardization organizations in the country or the standardization authorities in the country have certified them. If I go to the market and they are not certified, how will I be able to know the ordinary Ghanaian? How will he be able to know that these products are not are not standardized? Oh, okay. I just go and buy them. The ordinary Ghanaian will just go and buy them and then use them for his, for his or her product for his or her, her you know hard end construction pro project. And at the end of the day, if there's an issue, then what happens? There's nobody to blame. So please, please. I'm just begging, right? I'm just begging. Let's get let's get things done before they hit the market. All right, please. All right, until we meet in the next one. It's <laughs> bye bye for now. Uh, producers and importers have again conspired and decided to increase um, uh, uh, the price of uh, uh, 50 kilos of um, cement um, uh, by a considerable figure. I don't think that 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 that, that is right. I, I do not accept that that is right. The government has provided all the necessary ambience, all the regulatory framework, uh, a proper environment for these companies to operate and do um, do their their business profitably. I've always maintained that these institutions and organizations, these companies are not charitable institutions or organizations. I expect that they make their reasonable profit. What I don't accept is to take the people of Ghana for granted. Uh, cement price 50 kilos already too high under any circumstances. Now, I can't understand the basis for a decision to increase um, the, the, the price by, in some cases, as high as about five cities or so uh, for uh, 50 uh, um, kilo, uh, 50 kilo, um, uh, a bag of 50 kilo. I, I do not understand. What I find a little bit more atrocious is the fact that. Um, a few companies uh, which uh, recently were suspended uh, from um, playing any role in the, in the industry because they were uh, providing, uh, they were producing substandard uh, uh, quality of cement, uh, have, uh, have also decided to, to increase their prices. I mean, they are increasing their prices for the substandard that they, are, uh, they were producing or they are now increasing their prices as a price that we have to pay for them to produce quality uh, products in the country. 